Is this the death of reggaeton? Jamaican music label Steely and Cleavy Productions are suing a considerable amount of reggaeton artists and producers for the plagiarism of various reggae and dancehall rhythms, rhythms, used in the last 30 years. Examples include the fish market rhythm that was created and watermarked in 1989. Also the pounder rhythm, which is in almost 98% of reggaeton songs. The fever pitch rhythm and many many other rhythmic patterns and samples. Will reggaeton artists have the ability to win this lawsuit or do you guys think that reggaeton is done for since many of these rhythms are the heartbeat of reggaeton? Can reggaeton be considered its own musical genre? Or does it fall underneath the dancehall label since all of these rhythmic patterns derive from dancehall? In Fonsi's section, he is being sued for 10 of his songs. Among the tracks listed are his global hit Despacito and the Despacito remix that features Justin Bieber. Mick Towers, Ozuna, Nicky Jam, Sebastián Yatra, Faruco, and Rao Alejandro were also mentioned in the claim for featuring on his other hits like Imposable, Vachio, and Date La Vuelta. Daddy Yankee is being sued for over 40 songs, the most out of the three artists with their own sections in the lawsuit. Many of the Puerto Rican icons' hits are listed like Gasolina, Rompe, and Lo Que Paso, Paso which also implicated his longtime producers Looney Tunes. From collaborating with Daddy Yankee on his recent hits, Anuel AA, Sick, Wizen, Yundel, Chris Jedi, Gabby Music, and Taney were also named in the lawsuit. While the beats are almost identical, all the initial releases of Dem Bao have production credited to Bobby Digital Dixon and were released on his own label rather than the one fish market came out on. The lawsuit acknowledges that Dem Bao is an alternative mix of fish market, based on the same multi-track recording, but otherwise while Steely and Cleavy did produce Fish Market, the song that was most widely known as inspiring reggae tone was Shaba Ranks. Dem Bao is a song performed by Jamaican reggae artist Shaba Ranks 1 produced by Bobby Digital 2 this song uses the Ku Klung Klung slash Poco Man Jam rhythm, based on the title of the 1990 Gregory Peck and Red Dragon song, created by Jamaican producer Steely and Cleavy in the late 1980s. The lyrics are anti-imperialist, the title is Jamaican Patwa for they bow, with ranks disparaging people who do so, and also anti-oral sex, as ranks compares those who perform sodomy to those who submit to colonialism elements of the song's rhythm have been incorporated into over 80% of all reggaeton productions for evidently, Dem Bao has shaped and informed transnational flows and shifts within the genre over time. Reggaeton articulates a particular audible thread that weaves together various flows and waves of music, people, and ideologies for in examining this musical evolution, aspects of race, class, and culture are inextricably linked to socio-cultural elements surrounding the genre. In harnessing Dem Bao as a point of centrality, this song speaks to various patterns of migration, steely and clearly has trouble tracking down and some reggaeton within artists. the context of Producers reggaeton. in Dem Bao copyright lawsuit, Steely and Cleavy Productions Ltd. says that, despite its best efforts, it has been unable to effect service of its copyright earlier this month. The Jamaican company had asked the California District Court, where the matter is being litigated, for permission to serve 77 of the defendants who are spread across the U.S., U.K., France. Brazil, Puerto Rico, Colombia, Mexico, Argentina, Panama, and New Zealand via email on Tuesday, February 21, Judge Andre Byrat Jr. denied Steely and Cleavy's request, because they failed to show that the application was warranted and also because they failed to adequately notify the attorneys for the defendants, who have so far appeared, of their intent to file the application, even though, according to the judge, they had enough time to do so. They had been given an April 14, 2023 deadline by which they should serve the complaint to the remaining defendants, failing which those stragglers would be dismissed from the lawsuit. The judge's order on Tuesday, indicated that Steely and Cleavy has only served or had service waived for just over 90 of the defendants. The defendants, who have not yet been served, include but are not limited to Cali E. L. Dandy, Steph Flan Don, Lano, Faruco, Chris Jede, Yundel, Play and Skills, Anita, Becky G, Maluma, DJ Snake, and several other individuals. Those who have been served or those who have waived service, include but are not limited to Rao Alejandro, Luis Fonsi, Justin Bieber, El Combo, Pitbull, Mauricio Rengifo, Andres Torres, Nicky Jam, Ozuna, Universal Music Publishing, Inc., BMG Rights Management, 
LLC, Warner Chappelle Music, Ultra Records, Energy Music, and UMG Recordings Inc., who are all represented by the law firm Prior Cashman LLP, Steely and Cleavy Productions LTD, Anika Johnson, a representative of the deceased Wycliffe Steely Johnson, and Cleveland Cleavy Constantine Brown, are being represented by the Doniger slash Burroughs law firm. The lawsuit claims that at least 56 reggaeton songs, released between 1995 and 2021, had all ripped off elements from Steely and Cleavy's Fish Market Rhythm. Released in 1989, the Fish Market is most known internationally as Dem Bow after Shabarank's hit track, produced by the late Bobby Digital Dixon. The Dem Bow song had used the Fish Market beat from Jamaican vocalist Gregory Peck's Poco Man Jam, one of the 1989 tracks on Steely and Cleavy's original rhythm. The lawsuit outlined the trajectory which led to the alleged use of the fish market rhythm by the reggaeton artists, noting that in 1990, subsequent to the release and success of Shabarank's Dem Bow, Dennis Halliburton aka Dennis the Menace had replayed Dem Bow's instrumental to record a Spanish-language cover version of Dem Bow entitled Elos Benaya. It claimed that another song titled Pounder by the duo Patrick Bernard aka Bobo General and Wayne Archer aka Sleepy Wonder, had a B-side which featured an instrumental mix of Halliburton's sound recording, and that this instrumental has been sampled widely in reggaeton and is commonly known and referred to as the pounder rhythm, which is substantially similar if not virtually identical to fish market. The lawsuit initially comprised three separate cases, which were later consolidated on July 15, 2022. The first suit was filed in April 2021 against Panamanian reggaeton artist and producer El Combo and several other artists, producers, and record companies over their involvement in the release of Dame 2 Casita, which featured Jamaican artist Cuddy Ranks, and the Dame 2 Casita remix, which featured Pitbull and Carol G. In October 2021, Steely and Cleavy filed a second lawsuit against Puerto Rican singer Luis Fonsi and several other artists, producers, and record companies over 10 of his songs, including Despacito, with Daddy Yankee, and the Despacito remix, with Daddy Yankee and Justin Bieber. In May 2022, they filed the third lawsuit against Puerto Rican rapper Daddy Yankee and several other artists, producers, and record companies over his alleged use of the fish market in 44 songs, including Rompe, Dura, Gasolina, and Shaky Shaky. Collectively speaking, the 56 songs at issue in the lawsuit have amassed over 22 billion views on YouTube, and scores of RIAA Platinum and Latin Platinum certifications in the United States.